It's finally over. It's like, it's finally over. I'm wearing two things I never thought I'd wear ever again. I'm wearing a hoodie. And I'm wearing the cap. Now, why haven't I been wearing the cap? It's been too hot to wear the cap, you know? It's been way too hot. Because the hat provided, like, some unwanted warmth. And it was too hot for that! You know, this past summer, the summer of 2010, it's basically been the hottest summer ever of all time. I'm talking from the start of time to the end of time, whenever that may be. But currently, well, to be honest with you, this past summer was off by like a tenth of a degree or something for the hottest summer ever. So you know what? I'm just going to say it is. It, the, this past summer was the hottest summer ever. Now that... Now I felt it. Oh yeah, I felt the full blunted. I, I felt the full force of that summer. Oh man. But thankfully, it's starting to cool down a bit. You know? Still not as cold as I would have hoped it would be, but... This is a huge improvement over like the 100 degree weather we've had like seemingly every single day of this past summer. So without further ado, let's get into question number one. Kicking off October. It's October already, folks. It's October. Two more months? At 2010? It's over. That's fucking crazy. Part of my language, but I just, I'm just excited because it's almost December, which means Christmas time, and I am a huge fan of Christmas. Christmas is the best time of the year. No, it's not because of the presents, you little... Eh, whatever. Anyway, I'm looking forward to Christmas. It's not because of the presents. It's because, well, just just walking around with the snow on the ground and everybody singing Christmas melodies and the stores and the malls and everywhere in public is all decorated with Christmas lights and reindeers and Santa Claus and it's just... It feels good, you know? It just gives me a warm feeling in my heart, you know? It's like Christmas. Most wonderful time of the year. There's a reason that there's a song that says it's the most wonderful time of the year. And that's because it is. So without further ado, question number one. From Horror Icon. XX Horror Icon. XX. How do you feel about Saw 7? I have mixed feelings about Saw 7 or Saw 3D. Um... I'm not sure what to think of it. I've seen the trailer. I've watched it a couple of times. And... It looks... To be honest, it looks kind of like the same old, same old. I am interested in the traps though, because of course every Saw film has to create a, come up with innovative traps that we've never seen before. They gotta keep it fresh, they gotta keep it entertaining, they gotta keep it this, they gotta keep it that, they gotta keep it good! Because I've heard that Saw 3D is the final Saw film in the franchise, wrapping it all up. From the ending where Adam gets locked in the Saw bathroom. It's all coming to an end. I have very mixed feelings about that because, for one, I'm a huge Saw fan. Anybody who's a fan of me for the past couple of years knows that I am in love with Saw. Why? Because Saw actually has a plot! It's a horror film or horror film series, rather, that actually has a plot. It's not just one guy with a mask running around with an axe or a machete or whatever the hell he uses and BAM! He kills everybody in his sights! It's not just that. Saw has a plot. The killer has a reason for what he does. An actual story. Which is what horror films lack nowadays. They lack it. That's why I like Saw. It has a plot. A plot. So how I feel about Saw 3D? I have mixed feelings about it. I'm looking forward to it because I'm a Saw fan. And to be honest with you, I couldn't tell you how I've liked the past Saws because the past couple of Saws have been... Well, they've been the exact same. Just with a different guy. They got one guy with a time limit they gotta walk through whatever path they gotta walk through, then they encounter somebody. If they wanna save them, cool. If they don't wanna save them, ah, fuck you. It's been the same. So I can't really tell you exactly how, I, I don't even, the only thing that makes me remember Saw 5 distinctively is because it has one of my favorite traps in the entire series. Aside from the bathroom trap. The cube trap. Where I 
think his name is Peter Strom. Agent Strom or something like that. His head is in a box. And the water fills up until it drowns him. But he gives himself a tracheotomy with a pen. That's how I remember Saw 5. Because that trap is in Saw 5. And of course he had to get killed off. Just when I was lacking his performance, he has to get killed off. So my three favorite characters in the series. Adam, Detective Matthews, and Agent Strom. All dead. So it's like, <laughs> up yours, Kenny. It's like, oh, thanks. Thanks, Saw Creators. Uh, fuck you, too. Uh, Saw 3D is going to be something else. Really is. Question number two from Darth Killer 14 Hey, this is for Kenny Answers because I love that show. I appreciate it. I love this show too. So sometimes I just gotta take a break for a couple of weeks. Hope you don't mind, guys. If you do mind, um, well, I'm sorry I put it very blunt to you, but too bad. Ah, uh, I know that stings a little bit. Sorry, but sometimes I gotta take a break, or else, I'll, or else, I'll, you know. Some of you people want me to want me to do that, and for those of you who want me to do it, up yours. Anyway, from Darth Killer 14, it's a question for you, for me, or for Bruce? No, for me. No, Bruce, nobody cares about you. Uh, did you see the saw the saw 3D trailer? If so, what did you think? I thought it was uh, chaos inducing. It's interesting. You know, I was I watched it and. Um, Somebody commented that if you pause the trailer, I don't remember the exact seconds, but somewhere around the end of it, there's a guy, I think he's wearing like a green jacket and blue jeans, he's like attached to a wall like this, he's bald, um, and he said that he kind of looked like Adam. And then I paused it at that moment and I thought, yeah, he kind of does look a bit like Adam. I'm filming a show! Don't make noise! Anyway, what was I saying? Alright, oh, Adam, the wall. Yeah, he does look like Adam a bit. Um, what did I think of the trailer? I thought it was nicely done. Um, I thought that the whole 3D aspect of it was kind of corny, though. People in the theater, they're watching it with the glasses on, all of a sudden they get trapped in this thing, and then, uh, the, uh, I, uh, the guy with the pig mask, the pig mask stalker, I think his name is, um, and then he reaches out, takes somebody from the crowd, and brings him to the screen. That was, like, I know what they're trying to accomplish, I know what they're trying to say, like, you'll feel like you're actually in the movie with the 3D aspect, but that was a little, uh, that wasn't really necessary. Question number three from Vincey Halo. Okay, this guy marks spoilers, but if you've seen the trailer, it should not be spoilers. If you haven't seen the trailer, go watch it! Go be like everybody else. But if you don't want to watch the trailer and you're a fan of Saw, then mute the video. I'll do this if I remember to, uh, to unmute it after I finish with this question. But this moment is already in the trailer, so it really is not much of a surprise. Were you surprised of Dr. Gordon's return in Saw 3D? Yes, I was. But at the same time, I wasn't. I was surprised because... To be honest, I didn't expect to see Gordon or hear about Gordon ever again after, like, Saw 4. Because by Saw 4, I was thinking, okay, you know what, if he hasn't been brought up, then he's probably not going to be for the rest of the series. Yeah, he was in Saw 3 as a cameo, you know, showing the bathroom trap getting set up, but that wasn't really a role, you know, that was like a flashback to, like, before Saw 1 happened, so that I, I, don't, I don't include that as, you know, being brought up. Um... But I, uh, I'm fascinated by what happened to Gordon. I'm predicting he was killed, or he died from the blood loss. That's what I think. Was I surprised? Yeah. Was I surprised? No. No, I wasn't surprised uh, a little bit because, um, well, Saw 3D is bringing the whole series back. They're answering all the questions, tying up all the loose ends, everything needs an explanation and it needs it now! Everything is being tied up, everything is being answered, everything is coming to an end. I have very mixed feelings about that because, it, because, because for one, I love the Saw series because of the plot, but I also 
I'm getting tired of it because it's the same old thing for the past, like, four movies. How often can I see somebody walk through a place and save somebody or don't save somebody? I can only take so much before it starts getting murdered and crippled. Kind of like Toy Story 3, how they, how they decide to end it before it gets stale. Saw 3D, a bit too late for that. Yeah, I'll admit it. Saw has been the same old kind of stuff since Saw 3. But what can you do? And the final question this week comes from HG. And his question is this. What would you do if the girl of your dreams left you? Ooh, that is a really deep question. Hmm. What would I do if the girl of my dreams left me? Continue. Didn't expect that, did you? <laughs> I'd kick it, but continue. Sure, if she left me, then for the couple of days I'd be like feeling sorry for myself. I should have treated her differently. I should have not taken her for granted. <clears throat> should have been there for her. I should have been. <laughs> I should have been different. Cause. If I was different, if I was a man, she wouldn't have left me. Damn it! Now I have nobody to talk to, nobody to go to, no lady friend. I'm stuck in, um, in a slump, and then I kick out of it! Yeah, I'd be depressed for a couple of days. Everybody would. And then if they wouldn't be, if they said they wouldn't be, they would be lying not only to themselves, but to you! Everybody would be broken if they're, if they're, so many left them. It's human nature. It's what we do. If we didn't, we would be defying human nature. We cannot do that. I'd be heartbroken for a couple of days. But then I'd kick up. i raise my head up high. And say, I am better than that. I am better than her. If she doesn't want me, that's her loss, not mine. That's her loss. It's her loss, not mine. She's losing me. I'm not losing her. She is losing me. Not the other way around. Not the other way around. I kick up, raise my head up high, approach some girl and be like, Hey, what's up? My name's Kenny. I'll show you a good time. Follow me into my place. We'll get started. No, I wouldn't actually do that, but you get my point. Until next time. Take it easy. This is a little warning. I'm running low on questions. So if you want this series to continue, it's up to you. Entirely up to you. I can't do this series if I don't have questions. Okay, so if you want to see this series continue, send the questions. Until next time, I'm out.